Hi, welcome to NC3's learning management site, nc3certs.com. We at NC3 are very excited to have you on as a partner, and I look forward to working with you. My name is Nick Gill, and I am the NC3 Certification Coordinator. I am your main resource for questions on all things nc3certs.com. Today, I'll be walking you through using the site and getting started. If you are watching this video, you have already completed the hard part by completing your training, purchasing equipment, and being verified by submitting a new school request. Remember, if you wish to offer a certification at your campus and you've completed your training and have the required equipment on site, you'll need to submit a new school request found here. This applies even to existing campuses. If you want to add a new cert, fill out the form and hit submit and I'll be happy to take it from there. This video is intended for campus administrators. If you are an instructor, be sure to watch the instructor video in the help files. The first step is to log in using your school email and the password you previously set. Once you log in, you'll be taken to the certification tab. This is where you'll see the schools that you're associated with and the certifications that you have access to. As a campus admin, you'll be able to assign every exam available at your campus. However, you'll only be able to access curriculum and teach certs that you have personally passed. Now let's take a quick tour of the site. The NC3 logo. This icon will link you to nc3.net, NC3's homepage. This is where you can register for upcoming Train the Trainer events, as well as keep up with NC3 news. The Certifications tab is where you will view curriculum, take exams, and assign NC3 certifications to your students. Reports. Here you can run reports, bulk print student certifications, and see how your students did on their exams. Schools. Your basic school information will be displayed here. As a campus administrator, you'll be able to manage instructor access from here. Groups. You can create and manage groups of students from here. An easy way to manage your classes, periods, or semesters. Users. This is where you will find and search for all of your students. You can set passwords and manage users from this tab. The Documents icon is where you will find NC3, Snap-on, train and other corporate partners marketing materials or supporting documentations for your NC3 program. Finally, the question mark. Click this to view all the help files that we've created to help you use nc3certs.com. This should be your first stop for questions on using the site. If you're unable to find the answer you're looking for, submit a help request and I'll be happy to assist you from there. To get started issuing certifications, you'll first need to review the instructor curriculum. This can be found by clicking on the eyeball next to the exam. Remember, all schools you are a part of are listed on your page, and at some, you may not have access to curriculum. Be sure to select the eyeball next to the exam under your school's heading. Once you have selected the eyeball, you will be brought to the exam page. Here you will find the instructor curriculum. Click the hyperlinks to start the download to your machine. Please be sure to always download curriculum before each class. NC3 is committed to up-to-date curriculum and so is constantly updating the materials. You want to make sure that you have the most recent version of the curriculum to deliver to your students. It's also a good idea to review the curriculum before starting the class. We don't recommend you store curriculum on your local machine or on a jump drive. The View Curriculum button here can be clicked to view the student manual. This manual opens in a separate tab and is the preferred method for providing your students with the student curriculum. They will have access to this whenever they have been assigned to an exam. We do provide print files of this manual for you to print for your classroom copies. Just remember to check for curriculum changes before your class if you plan to use the print option. Once you have reviewed the curriculum and are ready to teach your class, you'll need to enter your students in the system and assign them access to the certification materials. As the campus administrator, you'll be responsible for doing this for all instructors on your campus, as you are the only user who can add students. NC3 prefers one lead instructor to be the campus administrator, but can support up to two. To get started, click the Groups tab. Here, you can edit and manage existing groups. Because you are just getting started, this may be empty. To add a new group, click the Add Group button. Fill out a name for the group. This can be anything that you wish, class code, time period, whatever 
you would like to manage your group. Next, select the school at which you'd like to correct the group and click Save. Next, you will add users. This can be done one of two ways, by individually creating student accounts or by using the group import feature. The group import feature is the fastest and easiest way to add students and is the preferred method. To import users, click the Import User button. Download the template and open it in Excel. Enter the student's name, then set a password. This password must be eight characters in length. NC3 recommends using change me, all lowercase, one word, as shown. This is a special password that will prompt the student to change their password on first login. This frees you from managing student password and allows them to set a password they can remember easily. Next, enter an email address for the student. Accounts are tracked using email addresses, not names. So be sure to add a real email address here. Your students will, be, will need to be able to access their accounts once they leave your campus in order to retrieve their sorts in the future. Next, choose the role. This should typically be student. Instructor training is generally not allowed and is handled at train the trainer events, with one exception for self-test exams. Contact NC3 or review the help documents for information on creating instructor accounts. Next, choose their job title. Either post-secondary or secondary student. Re repeat for each student, filling in all lines. Remember, Excel allows you to copy and paste fields quickly. Carefully review the template and be sure you leave no blanks as this will cause the upload to fail. Once you have completed the template, click Save As and name the file. Pay attention to your file path where you are saving it as you will need this later. Click the file type drop down and select .csv, delimited and select save. This is a special file type that the website can read. The system will warn you that, the, that it, this will destroy features. This is intended. Select OK and Yes to all prompts. Due to how this saves, you'll need to always be use, sure to use a fresh template when creating groups as it destroys the template after use. Do not attempt to reuse templates. Now that you have saved the file, go back to nc3certs.com. Your school and group name should be filled in on the Step 3 heading. If not, click to choose your school and the group that you wish to upload. Then click to choose the file. Find the CSV file that you saved earlier and click Open. Now select Submit. The system will begin the upload. Once you complete, you'll receive a notification and your group will now contain the new user accounts. This process can be repeated to add students as to as many groups as needed. Existing users can be put into groups using this feature as well. The system will not overwrite existing users. You will, however, need to be sure that you enter the information in the template exactly as it is for the existing account. If you enter different information, the system may return an error.
You are now ready to assign students to an exam. This can be done by you, or if you are uploading for another instructor, can be done by them. First click on the Certifications tab. Then click the House icon next to the certification that you wish to assign. The system will take you to the Assign page. By default, it brings you to the Assigned User page. To assign by group, click the Assign Groups button here. Search for your group and then click the first toggle. It will change from gray to green, indicating that you have successfully assigned the group. Your students will now have access to the student manual, but will not be able to attempt the exam. When you assign students, you are assigning them to three attempts at the exam in a 100-day period. Your student will need to pass the exam with at least a 70%. And if they are unable to do this and fail all attempts, they cannot be granted new attempts until their access expires. You will be able to grant them new attempts once this happens and they can try again once they return and take, retake your class. But they cannot be reset or granted any more attempts until that time. If your student requires IEP or ADA accommodations, be sure to provide these to them before they attempt an exam. You are now ready to teach the class. Remember, this is a hands-on guided class. You are welcome to break it up over the course of your semester, but be sure to cover everything. The student should complete all labs with you present. Once you are satisfied that the student has mastered the material, they are ready to attempt an exam. You'll need to certify that they have completed the labs. To do this, repeat the steps to assign that we covered earlier, but this time select the second toggle to certify the labs. Your students will now be able to attempt the exam. Congrats, you are now on your way to issuing certifications.